Hi, this is Kate Havnevik. I have a new album called Lightship. I wrote this album with Guy Sigsworth and we took some time talking to our friend and Norwegian music journalist Per Sundnes about each track on the album. In this episode we're talking about Zamami. Track number nine, Zamami. Yeah, Zamami has a lot of stories around it. And uh, we can say, I mean, first of all, Zamami is an island outside of Okinawa. And when me and Guy went touring in 2015, we did a Chinese tour and then Taiwan. And then the last show was in Okinawa. And since we had finished the tour, um, Guy's wife came over and she kind of planned a little trip for us to uh, this exotic island to relax a bit because we'd done such a good tour. And so we took a big blue ferry to this island called Samami. And to be honest, it was the strangest place and island I've ever been to. It was very exotic and not a lot of people it was kind of out of season and we went for some walks there and uh, I, the first time I actually saw a, a huge turtle. That's the only place I've seen a huge turtle in the sea while I was swimming. How can we describe it? It was like a little bit like being on that TV show Lost, you know, like it's <laughs> yes. sort of really odd, but it's also really beautiful and exotic and like a paradise. Mm. And it had speakers sort of out in the village with messages in Japanese. Saying? I don't know. <laughs> and little melodies like just, I don't know if it was about the weather or shops or diving conditions. I'm not quite sure. But then there also was like melodies, like little sort of bells and stuff. And uh, we had booked into sort of what we thought was a hotel. But it proved to be some sort of backpacker room where we would sleep mm. on some mattresses with rice in them. It was like really an awkward atmosphere, like being in a Ghibli anime. <laughs> there yeah. were even star-shaped rocks by the sea, like wave breakers. I was going to say one thing that's kind of intriguing about it is Talvin playing on it. Because when I first met Talvin... I uh, got to play on a Japanese pop singer's record because I'd worked with this Japanese drummer Gota when I was doing Seal's record and then Gota asked me to play on a Japanese artist called Noko on her record. And then I went to Japan and Talvin was in the band and so Talvin and me got friendly through that. And funnily enough, at the time, we were both obsessed with this album that Ryuichi Sakamoto had made, which had these Okinawan singers on it. And Talvin later put Okinawan singers on his first album, uh, Nenez, they're called the, the group. And so that had piqued my fascination with Okinawan music. And that's why I pushed for us to go to Okinawa when I saw how close we were on our tour of China. It's, it's funny how the Talvin thing of him being involved in the track, you know, it all, it all kind of completes the circle in a funny way. It all fell into place and you've known Talvin for a very long time, but I actually know him regardless of you because uh, when I lived in New York, I suddenly had an email from Talvin wanting to collaborate on some music. So I got to know him from a different thing and I did a, a show with Talvin in Brighton. I was just improvising singing over his tabla <laughs> playing so so we also formed a friendship. And then, of course, you and Talvin had a very strong friendship from touring together with Björk and various other other things. Mm. So there was also a sense of, like, he was sort of part of the family. Yeah. You know, we really wanted him to play on a song. And, and we kind of ended up creating a song and then having the tabla as the featured instrument. It felt so natural to get him involved. I feel like this track has so many flavors from all mm. over the world, like Talvin's Indian flavor with the Japanese, mm. Samami, and then I'm from Norway, and then guys from Britain. It's kind of a melting pot of a lot of colors mm. and inspiration, I think. And in the lyrics, I felt like it's a paradise, but it's also a mysterious place. Mm. It has some challenges and mysteries, you know, like I remember us walking to that beach and we saw that pool that was shaped like a whale, but it looked really rough and old and, you know, it had no water in it. It was obviously out of season, you know, mm. we were there at an odd time. And uh, yeah, it was a very special place. Can we hear that it's Talvin playing the tabla for an untrained ear? Can you hear when he is playing? Um, I'd like to think so. That's that's a difficult question because I know too much to really answer that. Um, 
I, I think he's very distinctive. Actually, I thought when Talvin sent me his recording, the main thing I, I thought I noticed was a great deal of restraint. I think uh, Talvin some years ago would have been a bit more uh, flashy. And I think he just played what he thought the song needed and uh, dialed it down a little bit, which I, I loved, actually. I think he knew that he had to leave space for a vocal. Yes, like he wasn't sort of going over the top, like he was yeah. holding back a bit. And maybe that's like when it's really best because it leaves you wanting more. Thank you. 